Whiskey Bros, where we review whiskey. This week we're going to be trying the Glendullen 12 year old, the Singleton. It's a single malt Scotch whiskey, comes from Scotland, and it just looks gorgeous. I agree. I mean, this thing, it's, it's over a foot tall. It's just it's, a green tin. Yeah. It, I mean, here, take, take, a, take a beauty shot of that. Yeah, seriously. I hope that shows up in this camera angle. I'm excited about this one, Scott. I don't I, know. Like, I am too, Eli. Especially after the last, the last one that we couldn't even finish. No, I mean, it was just too. It was too bad. No, and I'm afraid that this is gonna be one where I don't want to finish it. Like, I'm gonna want to keep it. I want to like have a drink. I'm gonna keep it around for a while. Like this just looks. Let's just pull this. Oh, here. Oh my gosh! Look at here. Look put, at that. Put, put that back there. That yeah, we bad. gotta get this out of the way. It's All cumbersome. Right, so hopefully we can still embrace. This is still. Scratch. Still such a large bottle. So, yeah. Single malt. Imported by Diego Norwalk, Connecticut. Ooh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Anyways, so tell me what you think. What do you see here? What's What do I see? Tell I me see, what your elf eyes see. <laughs> I, see a, uh, I see quite a beautiful bottle, honestly. Like, it's, uh, it's thin, it's tall, it's different, it's eye-catching. The yeah. singleton, I can we can all relate to that. We've all felt like the singleton at times in our lives. Yeah, you know, it's a so so then let's so something we realized we needed to do from last week is that we needed to be doing the review of each thing before, especially the bottle before we taste it. Mm -hmm. So I think we we've, we've hit a lot of things. We've, this bottle is beautiful. I love the detailing here at the top. This gold, not quite gold, but like the fish, this the f filling going on here, the way that the you know. Oh, just that labeling is cool. It's got like a, I don't know, man. I'm just excited. I'm enamored with this. I wanna. Yeah. I mean, it looks it looks classy. It looks nice. So, it is a scotch. I'm worried about the peatiness of it. Um, scotches that are. Wait, it's either the peatiness or the smokiness, because like I find that they're either one hardcore or the other hardcore. I'm fine with smoky. Like personally, I'm not big on the peat angle, and like the leg of Vulin, for example, is way too peaty for me. I would agree that there some of them are very peaty. And but also, I just don't have a very advanced palate. I like the apple crisp. I like the apple crisp too. You know, so I'm just you know. I don't think that makes us not advanced palates. I, I mean, think that because we like the apple crisp over the double oak, which isn't bad at all. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know. Okay, so. What are you going to give this for your score for, for packaging? An immediate score for the packaging. I'm going to say it's a solid 3.3. 3. 3. I'm going to say 3.3. I'm going to write it down so I can't change it later. I'm going to say 3.5. That's Yeah, that's fair. It's, it's close. First off, it's got the container. And the container is, is a nice container. It's The, the tin. The, yeah, this is true. This, and this bottle just makes a statement. This is bold. Like, look at this up on the shelf next to... <laughs> <laughs> it's still has the two. It's too. It's too, too tall. tall. It's too. It makes a statement. It's large and in charge. Okay, so will you write down my three point five then? I feel like we should each write them down before we say okay, them. Yeah. I think next time maybe you know. And I won't. I'm, I'd I already. Peak. I'd already gotten three point five in my in my head. So like that was. Guys, we're still really figuring out how we're gonna exactly. like, go go step by step. If you have any feedback, yeah. If you let think... us know any suggestions. Yeah. Put it down in the comments. Oh. Scott is cracking it. I'm okay. going for it. Going in. If I can, can he do it? And you. Okay. I'm just this is why he doesn't cut his nails too short, so that he can get right in. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oof. I wish we had like a very specific mic that could pick that up a little better. Like a good mic. <laughs> this is a good mic. No, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a close-up mic. Well, we don't do that. Oh. You don't want to. You want to keep this? The oh. little cap. Oh, little I thought that. I thought there was. There's well, no, I'm not a cap. mad man. This is a cool cam, but. Yeah, with that trout, put that up for the camera. It's pretty. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, overall, we're I think we're both <laughs> impressed enamored. with the packaging. I think it's safe to say it's right on top. If you really want it later, you can dig it back. No, out. it's too late. There's Chinese food in there. Oh God. You here? You open it. All right. Give us give us our first pour. Oh, oh yeah, that, is that awesome. was a pop. I'm changing my bottle score to 4.0. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the pop, the pop. It's all about that pop. How how does? This oh my off? goodness. Well, pour pour me a little. Just, okay, so just, we're gonna start neat. Just a split in a sifter. Just just a little bit. I'm gonna let it breathe. So now onto the aroma. We've done the packaging. Wow. 
honey. Yeah, definitely. Strong definitely. honey, like a like a dark honey, like bees that were um, eating clover. It's like a clover honey scent to it. Well, I haven't done too much of the the honey tasting though, but I'm not familiar that that it's clovers or what whatnot. That that, yeah. that would that would make sense. I mean, I'm I'm no expert, but uh, yeah, bees eat different kinds of or right. pollen. They ingest different kinds of pollen, and it changes the flavor of the honey and the darkness and the aroma. And this is very much a like a sweet, not in a bad way sweet, just like a legitimate natural sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Very rich. Really does smell like a boozy honey. I mean, it smells, it smells amazing. I'll, I'll, it's, it's got a very good scotch. Like, it's got a, that, that classic scotch smell, you know. Like, this doesn't smell peaty to me. It doesn't smell too smoky. If, there's, if there is some smoke or peat in here, it's like balanced, as everything should be. All right, Thanos. Have you ever tried or have you ever smelled a scotch or a whiskey like this before with one of these yeah no i mean with this kind of an aroma oh uh, like have you ever smelled a scotch with this aroma because i honestly have not this this not is the a, top of my head i can't think of one this is a singular aroma absolutely singular so for the aroma yeah what, what would what you else, give it well what else do you smell besides the honey it almost feels like there's like something orange or something citrus there's something sharp in there. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of the booze, but it's impressive how unboozy it well, smells. What does it say on the back of the bottle? I, I was just reading it. It doesn't say anything does about it. Does it say on the back of here? When in doubt, go for the go for the selling points. You mill our malted barley and steep it in pure water from the Conval Hills above our distillery glen. Then ferment and distill gradually to keep things perfectly balanced, as all things should be. It's on the back. I feel like you must have read that before and it was in your head. No, I added that in. Oh, okay. But, uh, maturation for 12 years is in the high proportion of American oak casks, evens out the aromas and tastes while we select only the most delicate casks to bottle. The result is immediately pleasing single malt with aromas of citrus, fruit, and sandalwood. A rich vanilla, honey sweet taste, and charming finish. Charming so, finish. So I know that there, so it says that there are citruses in there. Okay. So. To be honest with you, unfortunately, I have a really bad sense of smell, so I pretty much only get what I immediately I get. get, I, get the, I get the the honey and the rich citrus. Honey. I'm not getting any citrus. So for the aroma, let's I, write it down. I already wrote mine down. This this puppy is scoring high with me so far. This is off to a good start. Okay, what what did you say? I said four point two in the end. I started out at 3.8, and I decided to go up a little bit higher. I said 4.3. I think this is an amazing aroma. See, I've I, never smelled a scotch like this before, or any any bourbon at all. I mean, any any whiskey, rather. Scotch is not a bourbon. Any whiskey. Yeah, I've never smelled is, something like this before. Yeah, no, scotches have a completely different smell than bourbons or Tennessee whiskeys. Or, but I've never or smelled one like this before. This is it's it's almost like candy. And it really, truly is. It's like organic honey you get at the farmer's market. Like, like these bees were like massage. They're the Kobe beef of honey. That's what the aroma of this is that I'm getting from this. I'm impressed. Well, I think... I think it's time. It's time, sir. Go for the taste. Go for the taste. good it's it's, it's good it's just, oh man i'm waiting for a burn you i it's, get a, there's a bit of a chest there's, burn there's, i'm feeling there's that post burn you always get with the scotch which is what you want and as far as peatiness goes i'm tasting a little bit of it i got a little peat a little, I got a little, bit, a little a, smoke too just yeah. ever so slight no it's super well it's very balanced. well balanced as as all the, the things, propaganda says as all things should be yes this is the scotch of thanos it's balanced, like the sugar, the the sweet to the bitter. It's, yeah, it's very equal. Like the, it's absolutely balanced. the the contrast of your peat to your smoke ratio. I think is very balanced. Like the, at first, I'm kind of peaty, and then I'm smoky, and I'm peaty again. And I'm still getting a festival of scotch in my mouth. Like it's just oh, it's it's good. It's just damn good. It, I mean, it's 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 little, everything you want out of a scotch, honestly. I'm, in, I'm impressed by this. 
Yeah, nothing overpowers anything else. Everything works in harmony with each other. It, it's yeah, it's like a symphony. Yeah, and it's the P is like the the drum in the back, and the the oakiness is like the strings. This is the right amount of oak. The 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 twice barreled was too much oak, and they charred it funky. I don't know. Garbage, garbage. We. I don't know how you took a sip of that earlier today. I had to loosen up for the for the show, man. Oh for the video. You're, Gotta... you're crazy. You're crazy town. Yeah, maybe so. Anyway, this is this is freaking solid. I'm gonna write mine down. What are we writing down? Are we doing taste or mouthfeel? Taste. taste. I think I think we should just incorporate mouthfeel into the taste. This is definitely silky. Not as watery feeling in the mouth as the Jim Beam was. Mm -hmm. um, smooth. Not quite viscous, but thick. You know, it kind of so coat, coats the tongue. You can taste the honey. Like you, if you yes. if you really go for it, you really think about the honey. You can, you can, I can taste like as if I had just like spooned out some of the honey. A little they used. bit of honey, yeah. No, it it's it's amazing. I mean, I love it. I feel like this could be too sweet for some Scotch connoisseurs. It's a sweet Scotch. That it's is definitely sure. on the sweet side, naturally. So there's no added, there's no artificial, there's no, no high fructose corn syrup. No, it's not like a grape drink kind of a or a strawberry drink or it's, an apple drink. Apple drink. I want some apple drink. The apple drink was... We liked it for the wrong reasons, but we still liked it. Yeah. I think I'm not going to be able to give the score unless we put a little on the ice. Let's see what that's Well, the like. bottle recommends... What does the bottle recommend? Enjoy it neat with a little water or just as you like. I say that's on ice for us. So. Well, I think some of, sometimes I want it with the ice because it will dilute it a little bit. But yeah, I think sometimes, it's fun to try it with ice. But sometimes I want it with the... With like a whiskey stone instead, because which we should, know, we should we should procure invest, yeah. a couple whiskey stones for this this uh, video series. If you have a recommendation for whiskey stones, like what whiskey stones you use, why you use specifically that type, um, give us a, a shout out in the comments. We'd be, we're very curious to know what. Or just up. send them to us. I mean, <laughs> that'd be even better, you know. Yeah. That's a satisfying. That's it's just a well. It's a good bottle. I'm really glad it's a cork. I'm disappointed I with. Cork. It's a little tall, so you get a little bit extra spillage because it's dribbly. It's dribbly. It's, so that's one thing that the Jim Beam bottle has over these two bottles. This one, you lost two or three shots at the very beginning. This yeah. one, we're we're dribbling. We're dribbling a little bit. This takes some finesse, you know, but you have to work for it. It makes it it makes it worth it. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Sanja. Salud. Skull. Oh. That's I think so I smooth. like it. I like it better neat. On my initial. I think I think I want it with the whiskey stone because this ice is already a little bit melty, so yeah. it's diluted it right off the bat. And what I'm getting from the dilution is that the peatiness of it actually comes out stronger. It's like the dilution you... takes away the honey. Flavor and then it you just left with the peatiness, which some people love. Well, you gotta give it give it a second to to mill around. I think we just we literally just poured that. That's this is true. That was just my first impression of it. Yeah. But I th I find that to be silky smooth with the uh, on the ice. It's a solid scotch. And I'm not even the hugest scotch fan. Like the Glenlivet's probably my favorite go to. The Glenlivet Twelve. I'm not a huge scotch fan. I've not tried a lot of scotches. Glenlivet 12 is a good choice. It's it's stay it's safe. Uh, well, yeah. Glenlivet or Glenfiddich? Glenlivet. Cuz Glenfiddich is too peaty for me. Well, cuz Glenfiddich 12, well, but the Glenfiddich 18 is different and the Glenfiddich 21 is also completely different from the 12. I haven't tried either of those. I'll tell you what, if, after you've had the 18 and the 21, you'll never go back to the Glenfiddich 12. The yeah, Glenfiddich well. 12 is like a <laughs> Jim Beam. Damn. Harsh words. Shit, hey. man. When you've had the best, why settle for the rest? No, this is good. I, I'm really enjoying this scotch. Definitely, this is like a by the fire, sipping it neat or, you know, with a whis whiskey stone or something. You want to take a bottle to, to your father-in-law or your dad or something like that? This is the bottle. You want to impress a boss? Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yeah, this, this is what you're bringing for like a fancy dinner mm. party. It just smells so good. Or for one of those backroom deals, you know. A low-level back backroom deal. I think they would laugh you out of the room if it was like the build a burger event. But who knows? Who knows what they drink? No. The blood of the blood of virgin goats. What group are we talking the about? The Bilderbergs. The Bilderbergs. The Bilderbergs. They control the world. 
<laughs> this is going to turn into a conspiracy theory um, video. I thought you were saying the Build-A-Bear workshop. <laughs> if you work for Build-A-Bear workshop, you don't want to take this into your Don't boss. bring this into the, into the workplace at Build-A-Bear workshops. No. <laughs> the, no, the build a -Bergs. Although, if your boss does work in... Wait, hold on. If your boss works at Build-A-Bear, he might need this for home. Because you're all miserable. If you work I mean, at Build a Bear Workshop, what do you let guys us drink? Know. What do you drink? We'll, we'll send you the rest of this. Like, so, <laughs> we, oh. we'll consider it. We'll consider sending you. We'll consider send, sending you some of this. I'll pull out one of the Delmar vials. And yeah, I'll, I'll we'll, fill you we'll up put with it a vial. in a vial. We'll put it in a vial and send it to you. Our Actually, condolences. If you, if anyone's never had the Delmar scotches, I don't know if you can see that up there. In the do corner. you want me to? No, don't because there's a lot of stuff. Nobody there. can see it up there. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. I've got this this box up we'll there. We'll cut in a, a photo uh, of it yeah. later. Yeah. You know. But it's yeah. got it's a bunch of vials of the Delmar. Uh, I'm not I'm not pronouncing that right, but the Delmar. Uh, scotches and whiskeys, and I took that to Vegas one time with a bunch of friends, and oh my gosh, the gra there was a Grand Reserve, a 12-year, a 15-year, and an 18-year. Oh, <laughs> this was from five or six years ago, and I still remember those scotches. Delicious. Just... I'm sorry. So, Scott, I was going to ask you, have you written down a score for the taste yet? I haven't. I noticed. Have you? Yes. I. Yes, I very much have. See, here's my problem, is that like we haven't reviewed many scotches yet, or whiskeys in general. We haven't reviewed anything yet, basically. This is our first scotch. Right, so in my mind, I don't want to review it too high. I also don't want to review it too low. Because You're paralyzed by fear of this decision. You, ha you know, it's okay. If you make a mistake, it's okay. If, if in three weeks' time or six months' time you look back and think, what was I thinking with that score, that is okay. We can always come back and revise something, you know? Don't right. be paralyzed by the decision. You just gotta, you just gotta make a call. All right. That's that's okay. You know, maybe it's the wrong call, but hindsight's always twenty twenty. All right, then I'm ready. All right. What what what's you? What you got? What's well, I, you? I say we say it at the same time for taste. Okay. Three, two, two one, four point oh. Four point five. All right. I love See? it too. I love it too. I think anything a four or above is phenomenal. I think. I mean, that's like. Cream I'm, of the crop. Right? I'm giving it the point five because I think it tastes great neat. It tastes great on the rocks. Mm -hmm. And how much was this bottle that we got? I mean, for, for in, at our S local place, it was under forty dollars, right? It was thirty four ninety eight dollars. What a steal for a quality scotch like this! Seriously, is it? It's seven fifty mils still, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a full fifth, and it's a forty percent eighty proof standard. So overall, do you, have, you already have your overall score? I don't. I do. Okay. I won't look. No, because I'm going to adjust one. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I have mine. All right, I adjusted mine down two points actually because okay. I realized I needed to be more of a, an accurate. You don't equal. have to describe your your inner your inner thought process. I think we do because we need to make sure that they understand. You what don't have to describe when you lower it though before you tell it. That's irrelevant. Sure, but Sorry. I want it to be reflective of, of the combined score of, of, the, of the all. This is irrelevant information, though, because you haven't said this, this score yet. Well, it's 4.3. Mine's a 3.9. Interesting. 3.9. I honestly would have thought you would have rated it a little bit higher. I think that I wrote it, I, I, be I rated it what I did, hear me out, mm -hmm. because I'm just not a huge scotch fan, to be honest with you. I mean, scotches okay. are good. I'll drink them, especially if I want to appear classy or, you know, I'm talking. And, and it's, a, it's a fancy occasion. You can't You're drink. talking to your boss or something, you know, you're having like a business or dinner. You're celebrating. Something. Yes. You're, you're, you're not buying this bottle to drink this bottle. No. I'm you're more buying, of a bourbon guy. You're buying that. Because that's who I am inside, you know? Like, I'm more of just a bourbon dude. Yeah, you know, get the Jack, get the Jim, get the JMO, you know, whatever. I just, yeah. I This is, I, I respect it. I love mm -hmm. it. I legitimately love it. I think it's amazing. And 3.9, in, in, from as my overall score. conclusion, is a pretty damn good review. I would say 3.9 is a really high score. I too. think that's pretty damn good. Yeah. I mean, I, I went high just because I, I'm enamored with it. I may have went low. I may have lowballed this. And see, and this, and this was my, my initial thing, because like when I first wanted to do my score for aroma and packaging, I was going to say something like 3.3, 3.5, but then I realized that it's a 0 to 5. And I think that that yeah. would have been too low. It needed to be more towards the 4.0 scale. So this yeah. is about this is about us just figuring out exactly where our skills are. And this is also why I was like not wanting to write down my taste because yeah. I don't want to score it too high because 
we a we haven't had too many, so I don't want to I don't want to have to now compare everything to this and then realize that this was not as good as what it actually is. Yes. And then have to have so many in the four point five to five range. Yeah. So no, it, it's it's tough, and I think I might have lowballed it. Might have been a little harsh on so it. So you gave it overall three point nine, and I gave it overall four point three. So that's a four point one combined total score then. Yeah. Yeah. So, so four point one total. Four point one. That seems fair. That's respectable. I would say highly recommended if you can find this, especially if you're anywhere near the price that we found this yeah, for. Under forty dollars. Snatch it up. Yep. It's solid. Yeah, this it has is a, a cool commemorative tin and bottle, and you know, just over the whole overall package is great. I'm really glad it wasn't too peaty. I'm actually just gonna just gonna pour myself just a little dash more because it's that it's just damn good. It's so good. It's delicious. I know what we have to do. What? This is this is an important thing for every video and how we say goodbye. The garbage cam. It, it, it was here the it whole was time. There the whole time. Come here for garbage time. Garbage cam. All right. Give us a like on social media. Or don't. Who cares? Yep. Later. Peace.